everyone knows that the Survey of India is one of the oldest scientific institution of our country. Uttarakhand was formed in 1999 and those days Survey of India was involved in paper maps. So we were producing paper maps for the entire country. But today, over the last 25 years, there is a technological advancement. And with the new technologies, we have moved from paper-based map to the digital maps. Our positioning services earlier, it was on the basis of great triangulation stations and ground control points. Today, we are providing all positioning services through CORS. Apart from that, now our data which are interoperable, which can be reused also and now multiple times those data can be used. So over the last 25 years since the establishment of uh, Uttarakhand, our country as far as it concerns to surveying and mapping, we have made a lot of advancement and these advancements are also reflected in Uttarakhand. See, as there is the advancement of technologies in entire country, definitely it also affects in the implementation of various projects in the various states of the country, including Uttarakhand. We in Uttarakhand today implementing Swamitra program. So in this Swamitra program, in more than 6,000 villages, government is providing property rights to the villagers. And this property rights, this basic survey work is being done by Survey of India using the CORS uh, stations, using the, the drone based uh, high sensitive cameras. Apart from that, this work we are doing in a very, very time bound manner. Earlier, it was taking a lot of time to do this work, but after usage of various modern technology, it is uh, taking less time. This I am telling about uh, what we are doing uh, for Uttarakhand. Apart from that, in Uttarakhand, we have installed 15 CORS stations at various locations. And these CORS stations are providing high accuracy positioning services across Uttarakhand. I also would like to say that in earlier days, survey work of various hydroelectric power projects such as uh, Tehri Dam, Tapuan projects, etc and various uh, tunnel programs which are implemented in uh, Uttarakhand, those survey work also done by Survey of India. The Survey of India has immensely contributed in the various programs which are being implemented in Uttarakhand. So as we all know that Kemis Uttarakhand is a hilly state, its ecology is also fragile and it is uh, prone to various uh, disasters, especially floods, landslides, earthquake, as well as a glove, glaciers, lake, outburst, flood. So these are the disasters which are encountered during various work which a Survey of India is also doing. Earlier we did not have a uh, latest technologies, today we have latest technologies. So whenever this kind of uh, floods and earthquakes are uh, happening by using CORS, it is told that it, means it can not uh, real time, but at least near real time information can be provided. No doubt we have to do a lot of work in uh, earthquake uh, prediction, but they are telling that there is a possibility that Kimis usage of CORS can reduce the damages which happens due to earthquake. We have also, Mays uh, Uttarakhand is also prone to landslide. If this landslide is predicted well in advance using our CORS, it will help a lot of uh, life which can be saved. You all might be also aware that Kimis in Uttarakhand, especially Josimat and surrounding area, there are issues related to subsidence. Subsidence also is being uh, mismonitored using CORS network. As this terrain is very hilly, our conventional way of doing survey is very, very time consuming. And many a times it is uh, also uh, a miss, uh, very challenging. It is also a resource usage is also more. But by using drone technology using very high sensitive sensors and LIDAR will be very useful in tackling this uh, topographical challenges of Uttarakhand. Survey of India is getting equipped for doing various modern concepts which concepts such as a digital twin, usage of uh, AI, usage of uh, digital platform across the country. And when it comes to Uttarakhand, as we are stationed at Uttarakhand, Uttarakhand will be the first state where miss, we can use these technologies very fast. Recently, we have taken initiative to install 
two new CORS, how we can uh, I mean, uh, make this CORS model. And once we will uh, install this CORS, same way it will be replicated entire country. Similarly, now we are even in the same Hathi Barkala estate, we are making a, a proof of concept of digital twin. And once this digital twin, if we will implement for uh, this this place itself, then it because our uh, officers, our staff, they will also get they get training because this place itself is uh, 384 acres. Then it can be expanded to the nearby places of uh, our uh, Survey of India. Apart from that, is a lot of new technologies are coming up. In Naksa project also, we are giving a lot of emphasis to do work in uh, Miss Uttarakhand so that whatever lessons we are learning, it will be uh, implemented in the various parts of the country. So Uttarakhand is as we are headquartered at Uttarakhand. So all this innovation, first we want to do here, we want to learn lessons and then it can be implemented in the various part of the country. It's a fantastic uh, journey of Uttarakhand. I still remember in 1995 when I came first time Dehradun en route uh, Masuri en route to my academy. That time what was the Uttarakhand and today I am finding it's really a, a huge difference. There's a lot of uh, excellent de development has also happened. And one more important thing is that though means uh, this population exploded here, means lot of new development has happened, new real estate uh, businesses also come up, but still that uh, climate and environment is still under uh, uh, miss control here in Uttarakhand. So this is also a good work by, done by the various governments in Uttarakhand. No doubt, Miss people in Uttarakhand, they are also quite uh, industrious and they have overall done very hard work for the overall development of Uttarakhand. I wish all the best to uh, Uttarakhand people for the future endeavors. Thank you.